Hey, hey guys. So let's talk about I Smite Meta today, okay? If you have been watching SPL lately, you have been seeing that, you know, flat pin items are very popular, okay? So how do we build properly in this game, okay? Now, you can go any starter you want, you know, you have support starter, sentinel gift, then you have hunter starter, you can go like leather call, bluestone pendant or death tool, or if you play solo lane, you go warrior axe or warding sigil usually. Now, the first item is very important, and the first item meta is flat pin item. You can go Jotun's Wrath, you can go the Crusher, you can even go Brawler's Beastick if you want, and then you know get cooldown and mana from Valor if you want to combine it, you know. But flat penetration is very strong early game, okay? And often, you know, especially if you play like uh, Mage Hunter or Ability Hunter, you can go Bluestone Pendant into Jotuns into the Crusher, okay? And then this is the second or the third item is also very important because usually often people build counter item or hybrid item just to counter you know flat pin item you know usually you know people start you know especially assassins or warriors start with you know Jotun's Wrath okay and then second or third item is usually you can go Valor you can go Witchblade you can go Winged Blade and you get some protections and some HP and these protections are really good to counter you know flat pin item rush okay uh, you know, me meta lately has been a little, little different. You know, there are some general rules we need to consider, especially in conquest. How important power spikes are. You know, power spikes are very important. Conquest is all about early to mid game, so you wanna buy cheap, effective items. You wanna get Witchblade. You wanna get Stone of Binding. Okay. Especially if you play support, you know, Ymir is, that's why Ymir is really good, because he has such a good clear and good pressure, because you will outclear anyone, you know, and if you go like Sentinel's Gift, you have really good sustain in early game, and then you just go Witchblade or Stone of Binding or Sean Kuzari for good Tauras and cooldown, you know, and Valor, you know. So you, you always move forward, and slows are very underrated crowd control. If you are slowed, if you are being slowed, you cannot juke people, okay? So this is when Winged Blade and Sprint Relic come into play. Meta currently, Meta is beats, you know, into Sprint Relic. So you give slow immunity to your whole team and entangling wins is actually very good. It's a long range route, so you can set up other things, you know. It's very underrated, okay? So you can long range route and engage with the Guardian, okay? And movement speed. Movement speed is very underrated. Witchblade and Winged Blade are really good items that often don't get bad, but even at top level, SPL level, you know. You know, there are so many items you can go because, you know, high risk balance, you know. You have, let's see, you have black... Flat pin item was meta for a long time, but, you know, some items got buffed lately, like Blackthorn Hammer, Runeforge Hammer, and you have Gladiator Shield. You know, these items are over buffed and often people buy b both those items, you know. So yeah, importance of second and third item is very important and early game you just go flat pin item, you know. So let's say you play a hunter, you know, okay, if you play assassin, you know, you always go flat pin item in the jungle, okay, or maybe Hydra or something like that. But you can play hunter, you know, we see this in as a, we, we saw this in SPL, you know, the, you know, hunters usually go death tool into transcendence into, you know, probably usually the crusher, okay? But if you go, if you go bluestone pendant into Jotun's Wrath, which is really good early game stats into the crusher, you know, you will outclear any hunter in the game, you know? That was a twofer. And there, there are important late game items. Late game auras, you know, Witchblade, uh, Shogun Kusari, Runic Shield, all these are really good items to have, you know. Or if you play, let's say most conquest games have three physical gods. So items like, like Void Shield are really, really good, you know. The most conquest games have three physical gods. And this is where you buy Shogun Kusari, Witchblade and Void Shield. And if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if the enemy team has like three magical gods, you can go Runic Shield, you can go like Winged Blade, you know. 
don't be that guy that always go six damage items and just rely on be getting snowboard you know you always want to add in like winged blade witch blade or maybe valor or show kuzari these are very important items you know you will buy your buy the time for your team to do more damage in the long run especially if you play games like arena the, you know, in conquest, okay, you can go like six damage items to get away with it because you have a level advantage, you know, and you just snowball from it. But in arena, it's especially important to counter build and uh, items like Witch Blade, Winged Blade, uh, Shon, Kozari, and Valor are very, very important. And the most important thing is that you watch, you know, who is top damage at both teams by pressing T or you press Y or Z and see what killed you and this is how you counter build okay you buy magical or physical protection but let me give you some few really good advices okay if you play support you know okay you go sentinel's gift okay but then you know what items do you go you know the meta was usually tips okay tips into pride win but this is outdated meta you know pride win is also very hard to proc you know but Tips is very slow item, you know, that's the problem. Let us see where steps, okay? Once you stack it, it's a really good item, of course. Don't get me wrong, but you need to stack it. You need like 10 minutes to stack it. And that's why, you know, Stone of Binding was always a better choice, you know. Also, we have Witch Blade. This item has really, really good stats, especially for early game. And it's one, be one of the best aura in the game. So you can rush Witch Blade into Valor for cooldown and mana into Shogun Kuzari. And if you combine these three items, you have max cooldown, you have two best towers in the game, and you have both protections. Plus you have HP and mana, and cooldown, you know. So, if you play support, the current meta is probably Witchblade, into Valor, you know, that uh, mana early game is actually quite important, plus uh, Shon Kuzari. And after that, you can go like Winged Blade, you can go um, Voidstone that got buffed, or you can go Contagions, uh, Contagion which is physical protection and the heal aura, you know, so yeah. This is just about item building, okay? You have to consider power spikes, you know, and you have to have good counter. If you, let's say you have, you have, you know, you go, let's say you play Hunter, okay? And you go uh, Death Tool into, into, let's say, uh, the Crusher or Asi or whatever you will have a lot of damage but the problem then comes because you will get focused a lot because they know you have a lot of damage and then this is the time when you buy winged blade or witch blade as a third or fourth item okay so conquest is all about you know getting the much as much resources as possible so you wanna go you know rush damage flat pin early and then maybe add like one hybrid or survival item in between like witch blade winged blade or valor Arena is a different beast, for example, you know, Arena, especially if you play Guardian, you know, you can go first item Witch Blade, you know, and they re removed Warding Sigil from Guardians, so now we actually, now we actually don't really have a good starter for Guardians in Arena, you know, maybe Sentinel's Gift, okay, Sentinel's Gift, of course, is meta in Conquest, but in, you know, other game modes, not that much, so you can just go Witch Blade, Stone of Binding, Valor, Shogun, you know. And yeah, always move forward, okay? Moving forward is the fastest, okay? So you, you always move forward and slows are very underrated crowd control. If you are slowed, if you are being slowed, you cannot juke people, okay? So this is when Winged Blade and Sprint Relic come into play. Meta currently, Meta is beats, you know, into Sprint Relic. So you give slow immunity to your whole team and entangling winds is actually very good. It's a long range route so you can set up other things, you know. It's very underrated, okay. So you can long range route and engage with the guardian, okay. And movement speed. Movement speed is very underrated. Witch blade and winged blade are really good items that often don't get bad, but even at top level, SPL level, you know. And Michael, I seen those SPL builds, you know, they like competition, you know. If you play solo laner and you have three physical gods in your team, you have to go get Void Shield, okay? Um, so, and if you have like three physical gods, three physical gods, that means, you know, they rely on basic attacks and animation cancelling a lot. So, 
you need Shogun Kuzari. Okay, Shogun Kuzari is best aura in the game currently. You always have to buy it. You know, if your support don't buy it, maybe you buy it, you know. That's how good it is. And Witchblade is also a really important aura to have. Especially against three physical teams, you know, most conquest games have three physical gods, where most arena games have three magical gods, you know, they have double mage and guardian, but conquest is usually, you know, like three physical gods and they only have like one mage and a guardian. So, Witchblade, Shon Kuzari and Void Shield are very important auras to have, okay? Gladiator Shield got overbuffed because Harris balance, you know. Um, Runic Shield is really good counter. If you play against three magical teams or if you play Warrior against solo laner, solo magical solo laner like Junkai, Hades or Anubis, you buy Runic Shield and you counter them so much, you know. And then after that you can go like Velor, you can go flat pin item like Brawler's Beat Stick. It's also very important to have one flat penetration item on a Warrior's, you know. Your job as a warrior is to harass enemy carries, enemy mages usually, you know, and so you do that by getting one, one or two flat pin items, you know. But yeah, some gods like Vamana are really hard to build, you know. You wanna get so early game, you autumn's wrath and the crusher is your early game usually, okay. You can also go Brawler's Beat Stick and combine it with like Valor for cooldown. It's also very good, you know. But one flat pen item early to mid game is very important on physical gods. Usually the build will be like that, you know. You go Yotuns, then you go like Witchblade, and then you go another flat pin item. And then after that, you know, you're, you get Velor and Shogun Kuzari, you know. Velor and Shogun Kuzari are your staple items, you know. For physical protection, cooldown and mana, and magical protection and cooldown, and one of the best aura in the game, okay. So yeah, that's how we do it, you know. These are just the basics of item building. Item and counter building is one of the most important aspects of Smite, you know. With good build, you can do so much, you know. And it's not just about that, you also have to... You have to use voice comments, okay? Voice comments allow you to motivate your team and keep the spirit high. Plus you can have a, have a one plan together, which is very important, you know. It's all about dancing on the battle line, you know. Conquest is all about getting as much resources as you can and Arena is all about fighting on even playing field, consistency, counter building and resetting fights, okay? Man, we were looking forward to going and this, to this go together. to all the game modes, you know, to all the game modes. So let's see those builds, you know. Uh, one physical, you know, so virginity is okay, okay, because we have three physical gods, so virginity is okay. After that, you can go Witchblade, you can go Shon Kuzari, where is it, Shon Kuzari, and later you can also go Valor, you know. The only problem is that if you go Sovereignty, you don't have Valor, and Valor gives you cooldown and mana, which is actually very important and very underestimated, you know. That 20% cooldown, when you combine it with Witchblade and Shogun, you have 40%, is actually very important. It's a big difference if you have 20% or if you have 40% cooldown, okay? And yeah, hybrid items are always good, you know. In, in Quest, you have to think about it, you know. If you go too much hybrid items, you can fall behind in farm, you know. But in Arena, hybrid items are ve even better, you know. But yeah, yesterday I saw, you know, like, Tiamat getting Voidstone, you know. But they only held like one mage. So in that case, you better go show on Kuzari, you know. Yes, Voidstone got buffed, but you need to have at least like double magical, you know, double mage to make it worth it. Shogun Kuzari is way better, you get magical protection, HP, you get really good stats and you get the best aura in the game, okay? People, you know, people think, okay, items like, let's see, where is it? Witchblade. This item is not just good against hunters, you know, you, you lower their attack speed. This is not just good against hunters and three physical teams, but also gods that animation cancel a lot, like Susano. If you lower their attack speed, you increase their basic attack speed animation time. So they cannot combine their basic attacks and abilities so easy. This is especially good counter against gods that rush uh, Hydra, you know. Hydra is over, but Hydra is op OP. They actually buff this item. And this item has no internal cooldown, so this item is broken as fuck, okay. And Runeforge Hammer is also broken, and Blackthorn Hammer is broken, you know. Too much good stats, you know, for the price you pay. 
Um, but yeah, you know, what else can I talk about? <laughs>